welcome everyone today through this video i will try to solve some important problem of tangents and normals so this is my third class of tangent and normal so these problems are problems of both wbj and je men so look problem number 4 the normal to x equals to and y equals to at the point theta is such that it passes through origin it is constant distance from origin and two other options also so <coughs> this is simple problem parametric equation of curve is given so x equals to a cos theta plus theta sin theta so what is dx d theta a r change minus sin theta plus sin theta plus theta cos theta put a rule of derivative so a theta cos theta now y y equals to a sin theta minus theta cos theta so what is dy by d theta a bracket so minus sin theta minus cos theta theta and theta 1 cos theta unchanged plus theta into minus sin theta. So finally, <coughs> sine theta derivative of sine theta is sorry, this is cos theta, and this is why put a rule. So cos theta unchanged minus minus plus a theta sine theta. So dy by dx equals to by chain rule dy d theta d theta dx. So a theta sine theta by a theta cos theta. So sine theta by cos theta. So to find equation of normal, we need minus dx dy. And point. Look, point at the point theta. So what is x one? X one is obtained replacing theta by theta. So no change. If it is theta equals to pi by four, then what will be x one? X a into cos pi by four plus theta sine pi by four. At the point theta means so theta is replaced by theta. So no change of x and y. So this is x one. This is y one. So equation of normal. Equation of normal. At a cos theta plus theta sine theta, comma a sine theta minus theta cos theta. So this is point. No change if we replace theta by theta. So y minus y one sine theta theta cos theta. Equals to minus dx dy, so minus cos theta by sine theta, x minus a cos theta plus theta sine theta. So this is equation of normal. Now if we do cross multiplication, y sine theta minus a sine square theta, a sine theta into sine theta plus a theta. Cos theta sine theta equals to minus x cos theta a minus minus plus a cos square theta so minus plus minus minus a plus so a theta sine theta cos theta 
So finally we are getting x cos theta plus y sin theta equals to a sin square theta plus cos square theta that is a. So this is equation of normal and it is look it is constant distance from origin. So perpendicular distance. So perpendicular distance from 0 0. So distance from 0 0. It not passes through origin because A is present. So perpendicular distance. So A Y. So put it standard form for getting equation of sorry length of perpendicular distance from origin. So this is A. So it is constant distance from origin. So this is very simple problem important for board also for JE main and WB JE. So card is given in parametric form find dy dx obviously you get dx d theta with negative sign. Now only this to be noted at the point theta. So theta so no change of x1 y1. If it is pi by 4, then x1 will be a cos pi by 4 plus pi by 4 sin pi by 4. Now, consider problem number 7. The normal to y square equals to 4x at 81 square to 81. This is parametric equation of parabola. Meets the curve. Meets it again at 82 square to 82. Then which one is correct? Now point is 81 square to 81. So it is in short form. It can be written as at T1. At T1 means 81 square to 81. And this is T2. So normal. So we find dy by dx. So 2y dy dx equals to 4a. So implies dy dx equals to 2a by y. 2a by y. So dy dx at 81 square to a t1. So 2a by 2a t1 is equal to 1 by t1. So this is slope. So what is normal? Normal at t1 that is a t1 square to a t1. So y minus 2 a t1 so in some books it is written t1 that is why i am writing this in this format so dy dx so minus dx dy so t1 into x minus a t1 square so we get t1 x plus y equals to 2 a t1 plus a t1 cube so this is equation of normal so, you may recall it, this is very useful a result, parametric equation of parabola y square equals to 4ax. Now, it meet again the curve y square equals to 4ax. <coughs> Meets the curve at this. So, since it passes through a t2 square, 2a t2. Therefore, t1 into a t2 square, 2a t2, 2a t1, a t1 cube. So, a is cancel out. So, t1 into t2 square minus t1 cube, a cancel, a t2 minus a t1 equals to 0. So t1 square common, t2 minus t1, t1 square common, 
Now a common t2 minus t1 equals to 0. Now t2 minus t1 into t1 square plus a into t2 minus t1 equals to 0. t2 minus t1 common. Now they are different point since t1 not equals to t2. So this option is not possible. So what we are getting t1 square plus a into t2 minus. So a is cancel out. Sorry. A is cancel out. t2 minus t1 equals to 0. So t1 square t1 square common so t1 square common t1 square common so look t1 square common so t2 minus t1 common so t1 square t t1 t2 common so t2 minus t1 plus plus a is cancel out i think this is 2 2 into t2 minus t1 now look so since it passes through a t2 square 282 t1 into a t square 282 this so this is a into this. So A is cancel out. Now look this one. So here T1 cube. Here it is T1. So only T1 is common. So T2 square minus T1 square. So A is cancel out. This is 2. This is 2. So 2 common T2 minus T1 equals to 0. So t2 minus t1 common. So a into t2 plus t1 into t1. t2 minus t1 common plus 2 equals to 0. Now listen, since t2 not equals to t1, so this term is 0. So what is the second option? Second option is t1 into t2 plus t1 plus 2 equals to 0. So t2 plus t1 equals to minus 2 by t1. So what is t2? Minus t1 minus 2 by t1. So this option is correct. So option 2. So look here only t1 cube it is t1. So t1 is common not t1 square. So this is very simple one. So find equation of normal at T1. Then passes, it passes through this. Simplify and we get result. Now consider problem number 9. The equation of tangents to y equals to cos x plus y minus 2 pi 2 plus 2 pi that is parallel to this tangent is parallel to this line so slope of tangent equals to slope of line so slope slope means dy by dx so y equals to cos x plus y so dy by dx equals to minus sine x plus y into 1 plus dy dx. So dy by dx equals to 1 plus sine x plus y. So minus sine x plus y. So dy by dx equals to minus sine x plus y by 1 plus sine x plus y. 
so this is dy by dx now x plus 2y equals to 0 so dy by dx equals to minus r so this tangent and this line are parallel therefore their slopes are same so therefore given condition given condition m1 equals to m2 this is m1 so slopes are same minus sin x plus y by 1 plus sin x plus y equals to minus half so 2 sin x plus y equals to sin x plus y plus 1 so sin x plus y this is 1 so this is 2 and cos x plus y equals to 1. <coughs> so we have to find point of intersection. So points of tangency. So at what point tangent is drawn. So we are getting this relation here. Point of contact. Point of contact. So point of contact. If we take this as x1, y1, then you have to replace by x1. So we take point of contact as x, y. So squaring and adding 1 and 2, <coughs> if we add, so 1 and 2, squaring and adding 1 and 2. So this implies. So 1 plus cos square x sin square x plus y. This is 1. 1 equals to 1 plus y square. This implies y equals to 0. Now we are getting y equals to 0. So if y equals to 0. So from 1. So we get sin x equals to 1 from 2 sin x equals to 1 and cos x equals to 0. Sin x 1 1 and cos x equals to 0. Sin x sin x equals to 1. So sin x equals to 1. So x equals to pi by 2. x equals to pi by 2. 2 we are getting x equals to pi by 2 and x equals to in this interval so minus 3 pi by 2 and cos x equals to 0 so look cos x equals to 0 so here also x equals to pi by 2 y equals to minus 3 pi by 2 so in this interval we get point of contact so what is point of contact point of contact so 0 comma sorry pi by 2 comma 0 pi by 2 y is 0 y is 0 so this is x y is 0 and x equals to pi by 2 and 3 pi by 2 y is 0. So this is point of contact. So we are getting two tangents. So two tangents. So one of the tangent. So tangent at first point is pi by 2 comma 0. Y minus 0. What is slope? So minus half into x minus y by 2. So 2y equals to minus x plus y by 2. So x plus 2y equals to y by 2. So this is one tangent. x plus 2y equals to y by 2. We also get equation of one tangent at this point. 
So this is also simple. So tangent is parallel to this. So slopes are same. So solving you get point of contact. Then you find equation of tangent. Now consider problem number 12. The curves the a x square plus b y square small one and this intersect orthogonally. So two curves cut at right angle that is orthogonally when their product of slope is minus one. So this is our working tool. So this and this intersects orthogonally. So a x square plus b y square equals to 1. So 2 a x 2 b y dy dx equals to 0. So dy dx minus a x by b y. So this is slope. Now similarly for the second one, this is exactly same. So what is dy dx? So minus capital X by capital BY. Now two curves cut at right angle that is orthogonally. Since two curves cut at right angle M1 M2 minus 1. So product of slope minus 1. So minus AX by BY minus capital X by cap BY equals to minus 1. So A into capital A into X square equals to B into capital B into Y square with negative sign. So we are getting a relation. So what is X square by Y square? So minus B into capital B A into capital A. So suppose, so this is 1, this is 2, so no need of writing 1 and 2, this one is 3. Now, x square by y square here we are getting. So from 1 and 2 we find x square by y square. So 1 minus 2 implies root x square common a minus capital A. Y square common B minus capital B equals to 0. So X square by Y square equals to B minus A by A minus A. B minus A. So order is change by this. So this is 4. Now we eliminate X square by Y square. So, if we eliminate these two results, so B minus A by A minus A equals to, so what we are getting, minus B, B into A into A. So, this implies A, A, B minus A minus B, B into A minus this. Now we multiply it A into capital A into B. So this is B minus this one B minus capital B minus this more Y square B this is small b this is small b so B minus small b so, if we multiply, this is B minus small b. So, my A capital A into small b minus B capital B into small a. B capital A is this. So, we are getting this relation. Now, look at the proof. Proof is given in reciprocal form. So, we divide throughout by A, B capital A capital B dividing dividing by this so what we are getting 
this is 1 by small b 1 by capital b minus 1 by capital a plus 1 by small a so 1 by a minus 1 by b equals to 1 by a minus 1 by b so this is our relation 1 by a minus capital a 1 by capital b so here look which option is correct so 1 by a minus 1 by b 1 by a minus 1 1 by b so this is not correct so 1 by a minus 1 by b 1 by a this so option b is correct so you have to recall this result because look so it is very simple to remember 1 by a minus 1 by b 1 by capital a minus 1 by capital b suppose these are 2 3 4 5 so if you remember this result you can solve a problem of competition in few seconds for example look so this is problem number exactly same problem 11 the curves x square by a square minus y square plus y square by b square equals to 1 and x square by l square minus y square by m square equals to 1 cut at right angles right angles then what is our condition now if we compare this result with this so small a is replaced by 1 by a square so condition is using above condition so 1 by coefficient of x square so 1 by 1 by a square minus 1 by 1 by b square equals to 1 by 1 by l square minus 1 by 1 by minus m square this one is 1 by m square so what we are getting a square minus b square equals to l square plus m square so this is a required condition so two curves cut at right angle if this relation is true so if you remember this result so you can easily solve the condition of orthogonality for two ellipses or two hyperbolas so very simple to remember 1 by a minus 1 by b 1 by capital a minus 1 by capital b now we consider two similar problem problem number 13 and problem number 18 problem number 13 the curve touches x axis at minus 2 0 and y axis at q where its gradient is 3 y axis at q at the point q gradient is 3 find a b c so it touches x axis at minus 2 comma 0 so if it touches x axis then dy dx equals to 0 also the point minus 2 0 lies on the curve so we use first this condition since minus 2 0 lies on 1 that is curve lies on curve 1 so 0 equals to minus 8a minus 2 whole cube plus 4b plus 
प्लस फोर बी माइनस टू सी प्लस फाइव सो दिस इज इक्वेशन नंबर टू सो माइनस टू जीरो लाइज ऑन एट नाउ स्लोप ऑफ द कार डीवाई डी एक्स इक्वल्स टू थ्री ए एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस टू बी एक्स प्लस सी इट टाचेस एक्स एक्सिस देयरफॉर डीवाई डी एक्स एट माइनस टू जीरो इज जीरो सो डीवाई डी एक्स माइनस टू कॉमा जीरो इक्वल्स टू जीरो दिस इंप्लाइज डीवाई डी एक्स माइनस टू जीरो सो फोर ट्वेल्व ए माइनस फोर बी प्लस सी इक्वल्स टू जीरो सो दिस इज इक्वेशन नंबर थ्री नाउ एंड वाई एक्सिस एट क्यू वायर ग्रेडियंट इज थ्री सो वेन इट कार्स वाई एक्सिस वेन इट कार्स y axis x equals to zero. X zero means therefore y equals to five. So slope at zero five equals to three. So this is third condition. So dy dx at zero five equals to three. Now, what is dy dx at zero? dy dx at zero five. So this is zero. So three a into zero, two b into zero plus c. So this is dy dx at zero, and it is given that this is three. So this implies c equals to three. This implies c equals to three. so we are getting c now from remaining two equations we have to find a and b so look minus 8a plus 4b equals to 2c minus 5 so c is 3 so 6 minus 5 that is 1 so 8a minus 4b equals to minus 1 This is four. So minus eight a plus four b equals to two c minus five c value of c. So you are getting this. And from three, so three implies twelve a minus four b equals to minus c. So minus c. So this is minus three. So if you subtract. So this is plus. This one is plus. So minus four a equals to equals to two minus four a equals to two. So a equals to minus half. So a equals to minus half. Minus four a equals to two. So minus four a equals to two. This implies a equals to minus half. So putting value of a. So what is a? Eight a minus four b equals to minus one. Eight a. So eight into minus half. This is minus four minus four b equals to minus one. So four b equals to Minus four b equals to three, so b equals to minus three by four. So what we are getting a equals to minus half, b equals to minus three by four, and c equals to three. So this is our problem. So. Tangent is parallel to x-axis touches, so dy dx equals to zero. And tangent, sorry, slope at q, that is where it cuts y-axis, is three. We are getting second condition. Now points minus two zero lies on the curve. Three conditions, three unknowns. 
So we are getting A, B, C. Now this one is exactly 7. So 2, 3 lies on 8. You get one condition. 2, 3 lies on 8. And dy by dx at 2, 3 equals to dy by dx of this line. You are getting P and Q. This is very simple problem. Now we consider two similar problem, problem number 16 and 17. <coughs> These problems are problems of both or JE main and WB JE. Find the equation of normal of this which passes through one two. So look at the language which passes through one two. So some student find normal at 1, 2. But this is not the case. So, try to understand. x square equals to 4y. So, suppose tangent pt and this is normal pr. So, normal passes through 1, 2. 1, 2, you look, if you put x equals to 1 and y equals to 2, it does not satisfy this. So, the 1, 2 does not lie on, does not lie on the curve. So, it passes through 1, 2. So, we have to find equation of tangent at any point. We may solve it using parametric equation or x1 y1 also so x square equals to 4 y let this point is x1 y1 point of contact so point of contact x1 y1 so x1 y1 lies on the curve so x1 square equals to 4 y1 so we are getting one condition x1 square equals to 4y1 so 2x the 2x differentiating equals to 4 dy dx so dy by dx equals to x by 2 dy by dx equals to x by 2 now equation of non at x1 y1 is y minus y1 equals to y minus y1 equals to minus 2 by x1 dx by dy at x1 y1 into x minus x1 so this is equation of normal now normal passes through 1 comma 2 it is satisfied by 1 comma 2 since normal passes through passes through 1 comma 2 so y equals to 2 so 2 minus y1 minus 2 by x1 into 1 minus x1 so this is equation number 2. Now we have to find x1, y1. That is point of contact. Now what is value of y1? y1 equals to x1 by x1 square by 4. So from 1 and 2, 2 minus. What is y1? x1 square by 4 equals to minus 2 by x1 and this is 1 minus x1. So multiply it by x1. So 2x1 minus x1 cube by 8. x1 cube by 8 equals to minus 2 plus 2x1. So 2x1 is cancelled out. So what is x1 cube? 2x1 minus x1 cube by 
फोर बाई फोर माइनस टू प्लस टू एक्स वन सो एक्स वन क्यूब इक्वस टू एट एक्स वन क्यूब इक्वस टू एट सो एक्स वन इक्वस टू टू सो उल गेट एक्स कॉर्डिनेट ऑफ पॉइंट ऑफ कॉन्टैक्ट नाउ इफ वी गेट एक्स वन सो वट इज वाई वन सो फोर इक्वस टू फोर वाई वन सो वाई वन इक्वस टू वन सो पॉइंट ऑफ कॉन्टैक्ट सो वट इज पॉइंट ऑफ कॉन्टैक्ट पॉइंट ऑफ कॉन्टैक्ट इज पॉइंट ऑफ कॉन्टैक्ट टू कॉमा वन सो दिस इज टू कॉमा वन नाउ वी कैन फाइंड इक्वेशन ऑफ नॉर्मल एट टू कॉमा वन सो वट इज इक्वेशन ऑफ नॉर्मल सो डी वाई डी एक्स वी हैव ऑलरेडी कैलकुलेटेड इट वट इज डी वाई डी एक्स डी वाई डी एक्स इक्वस टू एक्स बाई टू सो टू एक्स बाई फोर सो एक्स बाई टू डी वाई डी एक्स एट टू वन सो एक्स इक्वस टू टू y equals to one, so this is one. So normal at two one, y minus one. Reciprocal of this minus dx dy, so one by minus one into x minus two. So this is y minus one minus x plus two. So x plus y equals to three. So this is equation of normal. Equation of normal at one two. So listen again. So x square equals to four y. Find equation of normal at x bar y one. Since it passes through one comma two, you get one condition. And x one one lies on it. So x one square equals to four y one. Solving we get x one y one. That is point of contact. So we can also solve by using parametric equation. So look, this is equation of parabola. So what is parametric equation? X equals to two eighty, y equals to eighty square. So not y square equals to four x x. So this is parametric equation. Now what is dx? dx dt is 2a, dy dt is 280. Now, what is dy dx? dy dx, dy by dt, dt by dx. So 280 into 1 by 2a, that is t. So normal at a t1 square, sorry, 280. Comma eighty square y minus eighty square so minus one by t x minus two eighty so x minus x plus two eighty y t eighty cube so x plus x plus y t, x plus y t. So minus x plus two eighty, minus x plus two eighty, equals to y minus eighty square. So this is t dy dx. dy dx is t. So this is t. So minus one by t. So x plus y t. This is y t minus a t cube. So x plus y t equals to two a t plus a t cube. So this is equation of normal. Now since it passes through, it passes through one comma two. This implies one plus two t. One plus two t 
So what is A? A is here 1. A equals to 1. Here A equals to 1. So we get 2T plus T cube. So 2T T, T cancels. So T equals to 1. So what is point of contact? Point of contact 2AT comma AT square. So A is 1, T is 1. So 2 comma 1. So we are getting 2 comma 1 is point of contact. So similarly you find equation of normal. So if we use parametric point then it will be simple because here only one unknown that is t because here point is already satisfied. Now problem number 11. So you complete it exactly same here you have to find point of contact only. So find equation of tangent equation of tangent and it passes through origin. So let point of contact you complete it point of contact x1 y1. So y1 equals to x1 square 3x1 plus 4. So call it 1. Now tangent y minus y1 what is derivative? Derivative is 2x plus 3. Now it is at x1, y1. So 2x1 plus 3. And this is x minus x1. So since it passes through 0, 0. 0, 0. So minus y1 equals to 2x1 plus 3 into minus x1. So y1 equals to 2x1 plus 3 into x1. Now what is y1? So this is 2. So x1 square plus 3x1 plus 4 equals to 2x1 square plus 3x1. So finally we are getting x1 square. x1 square equals to 4. So x1 equals to plus minus 2. So if we put x equals to 2 we get y. So if we put x equals to minus 2, we get 1y. So two points of contact. Points, two points. So exactly same problem. Now one more similar problem. Tangents are drawn from 0, 0 to the curve y equals to cos x. Their points of contact lie on lie on. So you have to find locus of point of contact. So here card is y equals to cos x. So let exactly same point of contact x1 y1. Therefore y1 equals to cos x1. So that of previous one now equation of tangent at x1 y1 so y minus y1 derivative of cos x so minus sin x so sin x1 at x minus x1 so now this tangent passes through 0 0 so since it passes through 0, 0. So minus y1 equals to minus sin x1 into minus sin x1, derivative of this sin x1 into 0 minus x1. So y1 equals to minus x1 sin x1. So what is sin x1? So y1 by x1 with negative sign. 
now sin square x1 plus cos square y1 sorry cos square x1 equals to 1 so this one is y1 square by x1 square so this is y1 square equals to 1 so we are getting y1 square plus x1 square y1 square equals to x1 square so x1 square minus y1 square equals to x1 square into y1 square we have to find locus of point of contact so locus of point of contact so what is point of contact x1 y1 so x1 is replaced by x y1 is replaced by y so x square minus y square equals to x square y square so similar like problem so this is locus of point of contact so it passes through zero zero same type now you consider one more problem so this is mixed problem tangent normal and differential equation the normal to the curve at p x y means x axis at z normal to the curve at x y so equation of normal try to recall equation of normal at x1 y1 y minus y1 equals to minus dx1 by dy1 into x minus x1 so this is equation of normal at x1 y1 suppose we are considering point x y as x1 y1 so this is equation of normal so it cuts x axis at g so when it cuts x axis y equals to 0 so minus y1 equals to minus dx1 by dy1 into x minus x1 so x minus x1 equals to y1 into dy1 by dx1 so what is x x1 plus y1 into dy1 by dx1 so it is coordinate of g so coordinate of g it cuts x axis so x1 plus y1 into dy1 by dx1 comma 0 and origin is 0 0 now look the second part so the distance of g from origin is twice the axis of p so axis of p is x1 so og equals to 2x1 og equals to 2x1 x1 is axis of so x1 plus y1 into dy1 by dx1 2x1 so x1 equals to y1 into dy1 by dx1 so x1 into dx1 y1 into dy1 so x1 square by 2 y1 square by 2 c by 2 so x1 square minus y1 square equals to c so no more condition is given so it is constant c now this is equation of hyperbola that is rectangular hyperbola 
So here point of contact is x y. Therefore equation of curve. So x is x one is replaced by x. This is y is one is y. So this is c. So this is equation of rectangular hyperbola. You can take constant as c. So this is c square also. So this is application of differential equation. So today we have solved some important problems of board and competitive exam. So thank you for today.